MGT what to do. It's your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this matrix. So first of all, I gotta say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within, and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, that's what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. <clears throat> so in this video, I'm gonna talk about why I choose, me personally, I choose to stay away from, you know, drugs and alcohol, basically, especially while I'm on my retention journey. As you guys know, I always say this in a lot of my videos, the longer you are holding on to your, your energy, your life force energy, you become a lot more magnetic. You have more electricity literally going through your body. So when you're, when your thoughts, when you're thinking about shit, things can manifest fast when you are thinking <clears throat> when you're thinking about doing a certain action or making a, a decision about something you go things are going to manifest and shit will happen faster than usual you know what i'm saying now as far as marijuana goes i love marijuana i fuck with marijuana you feel me but i've noticed a huge difference in my in particular my throat chakra I've no, I noticed a huge difference since I haven't used it because I always like put, put it like this. When I smoke, it puts me in a state of where I'm chill as fuck. Like I'm, you know, I actually don't even want to talk when when I smoke. You feel me? Um, and a lot of the times, like growing up, niggas used to do that shit. Niggas used to pregame smoke. You feel me? Sometimes I smoke before I play basketball. And then I play basketball or I smoke before I go out to a social setting. And I always used to wonder, like, damn, why am I so sub uh, self-conscious about myself? Like, why why am I, why, it's like, it kind of makes me kind of overthink a little bit. And then it puts me in a state where I can't express myself, literally, through my throat chakra. And then I remember, it's like, when I try to talk, when I try to speak, People always be like, huh? I can't hear you, huh? What did you say? And it's like, I'm not in that vibration to even communicate like that. So I, so that's literally one of the main differences that I've actually noticed since I haven't been using. Um, as far as the marijuana, not the marijuana, as far as the alcohol goes, I think I said this in one of my videos already. If I'm drinking, I got to have some pussy lined up. Like straight up, if I, I mean, I, it's, it's, I don't know, maybe y'all may call me like a person that's not mature enough to quote unquote handle his liquor, but I don't know about y'all nigga, but like most of the time when I'm drinking alcohol, it puts me in a lower vibrational state where I'm trying to smash. I'm trying to get in some sweet watery guts. So, I mean, couple like imagine drinking and then having your life force energy that you've been cultivating. Now, again, people are different, you know what I'm saying? But imagine like having all of that electricity going through your body. Instead of it going all the way up through your body and, and through your, your brain, like where you're supposed to actually kind of live from, all that electricity is going down south. So all you're going to be thinking about, well, me personally, I don't know about you. I know me, I'm going to be thinking about some pussy, like straight up. So... That's pretty much why, like, I would stay away from, you know, drugs and alcohol while I'm on my retention journey. And usually drugs and alcohol, usually those are low vibrational things anyway. So if you plan to uh, retain your energy type shit, obviously we want to stay away from things of that nature. But, you know, you do have the casual. You got some people, like I said, that I meet, that I, that I met in my life type shit or here on this channel, they come and comment. They'd be like, oh, what do you think about, you know? If is it okay to have a few beers? Uh, I want to quit, you know, smoking uh, cigarettes, this, that, and the third. Like I said, at the end of the day, everybody's different. People who usually people who who who've been drinking from since a young age, they kind of build up this tolerance. So I can't say the same thing for them. You feel me? Like for me, type shit. Like it's going like that's just what it is. So every time, like I'm drunk when I was when I was younger. It was always associated with some sexual activity, period. Like, every single time. Like, I have to get my rocks off. Or I had to beat off at the time. You feel me? And that's what I'm saying, dog. When it's all when it's all said and done, 
I I realize the type of energy that I possess and I and and a lot of like a lot of like what I do literally is just creating a better situation, creating a situation where there's no like I can't leave no leaf unturned in in other words like when I create my situation of where I want to vibe if I want to you know eventually do shrooms or later on down the line maybe I want to uh ingest some type of marijuana without smoking because again it it, it literally attacks my throat chakra I want to be in a position to where I'm com like life is great like life is good life is amazing i don't want to smoke or drink just because i'm going through a hard time and that's just generally speaking i know a lot of guys say that i, I know my homeboy he used to drink to celebrate now he drinks to get through the day you feel me and i love my dog you feel me that's my nigga you know and i and i know he's gonna get through it type shit you know but you know every to each his own at the end of the day but that's the reason why i would actually stay away from those things because again it's not it's it's, it's leading to me doing low vibrational shit, me relapsing, me releasing my energy, releasing my seed, and then put me in a spiral where now I may, I may create a situation where now I'm depressed after the fact, like after the high, after the buzz is gone, you know, because that's what people do, whether we know it or not. We drink, we smoke to get away from whatever is quote unquote bothering us. And it's like shit. I feel like if you're gonna do that shit, nigga, I feel like celebrate something, nigga. Like just don't do it just cause. You feel me? But yeah, I ain't wanna keep this video too long. This is gonna be a short video today. Probably might drop another one. But yeah, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. I'm gonna definitely see you guys on the next video. Peace.